Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I am Farhan. Today I will be presenting about a topic called Knock Me. There are six content that I will be talking about. The first one is introductions. Second is age involved. Third is causes or etiology. The fourth one is the effects. The fifth is treatments. And the last one is precaution. Introductions. Knock Me also known as genovelgum, a condition in which the knee tilt inward while the ankle remains space apart. As we can see, there is two uh, picture above, which is the good uh, good side and the bad side. The good the good posture shows that the line of the knee and the and the foot is aligned. And for the for the bad posture, you can see that. The knee and the foot is not aligned. The first one, knock knee is a common lower leg abnormality that is usually seen in the toddler, preschool and early school age children. Plus, the deformity can progress to its typical form with growth. It is however not uncommon for this knock knee alignment to progress beyond childhood and into adulthood. The second one is, for adult, adult can sometimes develop knock knees these cases are often associated with joint problems such as osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Age involved. Knock me progress in child. Usually, a typical child will born with bow leg. This is because some of the bone had to rotate with slightly when they were growing in the womb to fit into the small space which caused them to bond with bow leg. So, after that, they will begin to start progress into a knock me. So, usually, this knock me early symptoms up or progress can be seen in 2 to 3 years and start to be noticed 3 to 4 years in child age and starting to recover 7 to 8 years, which their leg as starting to be straightened again normal developmental progression will see children bow leg at birth then maximal knock me three to five years which the age that start to be noticed by their parents usually and ideally this alignment will straighten by age seven years causes or etiology there are three causes that I would like to highlight. The first one is development process in child, where commonly child will born with bow leg and then progress into progress into knock knee, starting to be obvious in, in three to four years, and in seven to eight years they their leg as starting to straighten. So. For the second one is the genetic condition such as skeletal dysplasia or also known as dwarfism or ethnic bone disease such as rickets. So what is rickets? Rickets is softening and weakening of bone in children usually because of an extreme and prolonged vitamin D deficiency. So the third one is obesity. Obesity can contribute to knock knees or cause great gait abnormalities that resemble knock knees. Effects There are some effects of knock knee that I would like to highlight. The first one is reduced range of motion in hips. Second one is difficulty walking or running. Third one is knee instability. The fourth one is progressive knee arthritis, usually in adulthood. The fifth one is the knee pain. So, the difficulty walking or running usually will come with knee pains which will form a gait that that call limping gait. Treatments and intervention. For the treatment and intervention is and under balanced diet that I would like to highlight is the first one is the food that I would like to highlight here is vitamin D and calcium since it is essential in the bone development. Stronger bones may help heal the knock knees faster. The second one is exercise. 
Exercise may help strengthen the muscle of the leg and could improve the posture and balance in people with knockney. The third treatment for knockney is surgery. The surgery is called osteotomy where a thin wedge of bone is removed from the leg bone so they are realigned into the correct position. Plates and screws are used to fix the bones in their new position. Precaution Precaution Not knees that become apparent before age 2 or after age 7. These are considered as unusual since usually it will occur only between age 2 to age 7 and it will become normal. So the second one is not knees that become worse after age 7. It is correlated to the first one. And the third one is asymmetric appearance of the legs, which the legs are not symmetric. And the fourth one is limb when walking. This usually will uh, will related with pain. And the fifth one is knee or hip pain. And the sixth one is short stature. Thank you for watching and have a good day.